Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com and today we're going to do something a little different for you and we're going to give you a maintenance tip or I guess it's kind of a maintenance tip. We're going to show you how to blow out your underground uh, lawn sprinklers. Uh, so typically a lot of people will pay somebody, you know, 20, 30 bucks or whatever to uh, come and blow out their sprinklers for them and get them ready for winter. Now, this is something you can easily do yourself. Uh, basically as long as you have an air compressor or can borrow an air compressor, you can more than likely do this on your own and uh, save that 20 or 30 dollars and go out for lunch. So, uh, In this particular setup we've got a uh, underground system outside obviously and it's on a timer system. So in that case what we'd want to do is start out by taking the timer turning it to the off position from whatever position you've got it in now which in this case was automatic. Um, so again just depending whether you ha actually have an automated system or not doesn't really matter if you do just turn off the timer so it's not trying to turn itself on. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to drain the actual water uh, from the outside wherever it goes to the outside and actually uh, enters your uh, your valve system to the interior of the house so that you don't end up freezing that water line. So in this home uh, the line comes from uh, I believe across the house to the other side of the house and it comes down to here and they've got in a valve here to turn off the water supply which is what this part is so it would be supplying from here we're going to turn it off and it's got this little drain on the side and what happens is when I open this drain all the water from this point all the way back to where it goes out the house to the valve out there uh, will drain out to this hole so uh, not too difficult we just want a, something here to, uh, to catch that water as we drain this one uh, it's going to take a few buckets probably to uh, drain the whole line but you want to uh, just turn this little little valve on the side here and uh, get the water sorry you couldn't see from my elbow but I'm just turning that uh, that it should be just finger tight but you might need a pair of pliers on it to turn it and we're just opening it up the water drains I'm not just sure I don't want it to come right out because it's just gonna sh spray right out so I'm just loosening it off there we go we're getting it running there so you can see the water in this case is just kind of dribbling down the side we've, it's convenient we've got an elbow here that kind of creates a spot for it to drip off and into the can so what we do is just drain that right completely out uh, probably speed it up a little bit more than this and uh, drain that whole line until we have nothing. Now, another thing we did off camera is we opened the valve at the outside of the house so that it creates uh, a chance for some air to get behind that water and help it drain out a little quicker, okay? So we'll just continue draining this. Once we have that complete, we're gonna go to the outside and uh, do our actual blowout. Okay, so we've come outside and uh, here's the other end of that line that we just drained. So I'll just, uh, I guess I already did, just close this valve back up again, just so we're not pressurizing that system into the house. <clears throat> we will open it back up though when we're all done. But anyways, I've got it closed. Um, now the system here, before you, they would turn this on and this would fill up the water down to the valves down below. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unhook this garden hose and we're gonna use this valve to help with blowing out our, uh, our system. Now, I did state before that really all you needed was a compressor. That might have been a little misleading. You need a compressor, uh, enough uh, air hose to get over here, and possibly some type of fittings put together to uh, attach to your, si your sprinkler system. Now, if you've had people blowing your system out before, there may even be a setup there already. You just have to get the right kind of adapter to do it. Now, this is a little bit of a couple different things put together. Uh, just to make this really simple. So, uh, you know, just rig up whatever you need f to make your own system work. So I'm just gonna put that on there. I'm going to open this valve because uh, I need that open. And we've got our compressor set to about 70 pounds. Uh, most of these lines, um, even on this one, it states right here on this tubing that it's good to 75 PSI. So we're, we've got the compressor set just a, a hair below that. Whoops, what am I doing? Uh, just so that we don't rupture a line. 
Now uh, here's our air hose coming right from the compressor. This valve here will turn our air on and off. Right now I've got it off. I'm just going to hook that up for right now. Okay, so at that point what I'm going to do is uh, go down into the, the little manhole here where the valves themselves are. Now remember this has uh, got electric timers on it so it's got an electronic valve. There's a pair of valves here running the front yard. So if you look at the valves what we've got is you've got a small little uh, on this brand anyways you've got a small little valve right here and that's the one we're going to use for doing the blowout. We're going to actually open it and then when we're all complete we're going to open the main valve which would be this one. And we're just going to leave it a quarter turn open so that if any residual moisture is in there and freezes it doesn't actually break the valve. So all we want to do is uh, go up here and we're going to turn on our air pressure right there so that's now powering up or airing up our whole system. We'll go back down to this first valve and I'm going to turn this little thumb screw here, whichever way it goes, this way. And that should uh, pops our sprinklers up out front there. And you can see that it's blowing out the moisture. This one nearest to us is just about out of water already. And uh, as it goes down the line there, you'll see the middle one run out. And then finally the last one. And this takes a, could take up to a minute or so, it just depends how long your line is. Okay, so once all that moisture is blowing out, we're just going to turn that valve off again. Right there. And I'm going to open up this second one as well. We would do this, this next one, do all of them, do the main drain, and then uh, open up the big valve on this particular. I believe this is a rain bird. You should see uh, probably a little more moisture come out, but it won't take nearly as long. And just let them blow right out until they're not even fogging anymore. If your compressor is a little smaller you might actually have to stop and let it catch up again. So that end one's just about out, it's just getting the last few drops. There it's pretty much done. Okay so what I'll do here is turn off the pressure turn off our air pressure, our heads all drop back down on the ground, okay, and uh, again you want to do this to every valve that you've got there. Once you're all complete them all, just make sure that you open up each one of these valves a little bit. They should be left cracked open for the winter, so any residual moisture will uh, just drain out of them if it freezes, not drain out, but it won't uh, hopefully wreck anything when it freezes. Okay, so that's the main, the main idea there. Then when you're all done, all you need to do is uh, take off your, your apparatus here for getting the air in, like so. And you wanna just crack open all your valves here for the winter, this one was already open. So just leave your valves cracked open and uh, then that way, like I said a couple times already, if, if any moisture is in there and freezes, it won't hurt your valves or it shouldn't. So, so this is just one particular setup. Uh, your setup could obviously be quite different. You might have a manifold of valves here, right on the wall above the ground or whatever. It's just a matter of looking at your system, figuring out you know, just how it works. And uh, you know, even if you want to, maybe you still get that guy to come this year and do it. And you're home and you can kind of watch what he does, see what his system is, and uh, the next years down the road maybe you'll be able to do it on your own and save a bit of money. So I'm glad that you're able to watch our video today on uh, sprinkler blowout and uh, I, we've got tons of other videos here on our YouTube channel. You can subscribe to our channel and uh, you know watch them all. You can go to our, our website at house-improvements.com and check out all our interesting articles and other links we have there. We've got the forum there as well. So if you have any questions on this, go to the forum and post your question up. I'll be sure to answer it. And uh, we're also on Twitter and Facebook, so you can check us out on a few different spots. Thanks a lot for watching today.